Wizards are back. They they came back and they played a basketball game. And while I missed like most of that because I was out for about an hour prior to this game starting, um, it feels like I didn't miss much. It feels like I didn't miss much, but let me just run through the quick Wizard news. Um, we signed Alex Lynn. He had gotten cut by the Raptors. I personally was a little not exactly happy about it, but understanding the why we did it because of filler reasons. It was like, okay, I get it. Understandable. Cool. We signed them. If the Raptors cut a player, I'm kind of a little bit wary only because the Raptors are a pretty good team. They haven't been that good, but they have been on the upswing because they are not as bad as we are. Um, on top of that, we also signed Jordan Bell to a 10 day. Cool. He got some garbage time minutes after we Lost this Spurs game, which, you know, that's nothing new. Playing against the Spurs is pretty cursed anyway. And here are the, 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 the thing that I feel like people would say or anyone would kind of think is like, okay, so we have this team that just was off for two weeks due to health and safety protocols and people getting COVID-19. Very unfortunate. I hope everyone comes back healthy. And you have this team that also suffered the ACL injury with Thomas Bryant. So when they're coming back, you kind of have this sense of evaluating them too harshly would be not sensible because of the fact that they are coming back and they didn't have as much time to really get in the swing of things after they had just had a win against the Phoenix Suns. So you're like, okay, fine, can't evaluate them too harshly. However, this team still manages to be frustrating even when they kind of have the narrative advantage is it the narrative advantage is that what it is where you have this team that in the spurs it's a young team mixed with some wily veterans and you think that at the very least it would get it would stay competitive and if we lose then fine Playing against the Spurs is cursed. We literally haven't beaten them since, I want to say, December 10th, 1999. I'm probably getting that date wrong. But, yeah, we haven't beat this team in a while. But, again, even though this team has actual rhythm and a good coach and things like defense, the fact that we were in this game for as long as we were only to inevitably just break down, it just, it's just, it's just exhausting. It's just exhausting and saddening, and it's not fun. And again, context is important. We don't have all our players, and they were all out for two weeks, and they're all just kind of coming back. But for some reason, we brought Russ back. I could have sworn that it was a three- to four-week timetable on his evaluation. Apparently, that was wrong. Apparently, it was only really like one or two weeks, so he came back, and apparently he didn't really play that well, and from the two quarters I saw, he was just playing the exact same he's been playing. So now it's getting harder and harder to be like, okay, so if Russ is healthy and this is how he's playing, and if he keeps playing like this for like, you know, the rest of the season, it wouldn't be out of the question to call him washed or, you know, not as good as he used to be. So... Name a better duo, Wizards and Pain. Um, yeah, so even with the fact that we went through such things, we somehow were in this game up until, like, I want to say five minutes. But the thing with the Wizards that's consistent is that the defense is terrible and that we pretty much have to get really lucky or we have to have everything break so right that it's impossible for us to screw it up. And without that, we don't win games, which is unfortunate, but that's just literally how bad we are. Cause I, I was like, okay, I understand we're not that good. I understand that we're signing guys for filler, that we don't have everybody, but Jesus, <laughs> it's like, I feel like there have been bad teams prior to this iteration that showed more effort but i could be wrong or at least i've seen bad teams that aren't the wizards who have shown considerably more effort and again i know that falls into coaching but that feels like i i, I don't want to be constantly talking about like 
yeah, we need to fire Brooks because we've been beating that drum to death, and I just don't think it's going to happen. I don't think Tommy Shepard's going to let him go. I think they're going to just ride it out and be like, all right, so we pissed off Beal, and Beal wants to leave, which is not what I want, but at this point, it's getting harder and harder and harder and harder to say that he's not going to want to leave or he's not at the very least going to evaluate his options and looking at the history of the wizards doesn't really bode well when you trade john wall and this is the return we have so far and you have a defense that's this bad and you have a coach that has zero to 50 clue of how to run a decent rotation I'm kind of just getting off just some, some uh, like, it was just so frustrating to watch the Wizards turn the ball over, or, like, literally, it was one, what was it, Drew Gooden at one point was just like, this is a crucial defensive stop for the Wizards. It seems like every, every defensive stop that the Wizards could potentially get is crucial, because if they don't, they're just going to keep trading buckets with the other team until the Wizards start missing, because if Beal's not on, everyone else is a question mark. Literally everyone else in this team is a question mark, which is unfortunate, but the truth. Because Bertans only just started firing off, and now we're at now he's now he's got to get back into you know game shape. And then you have Russell Westbrook who can't hit the broad side of a barn, but occasionally will hit a three. And you you have pretty much Beal being the only guaranteed offense, which results in pain pain <laughs> a lot of pain and a lot of uh, a lot of empty offensive possessions but yeah when drew gooden said that i was just like i hate that that's pretty much so far indicative of the entire wizard season where you just you're turning the ball over you're not getting stops we just let devin vassal the cell i honestly don't know how to pronounce it at the moment we it was just like you all you have to do to beat the wizards which i'm pretty sure i've said before just swing the ball like one time and the entire defense will collapse and even if we were to switch because drew Gooden also suggested that we switch which while not a bad idea when it comes to the wizards we are so poor defensively a switch is pretty much just a free score for the other team in the same way that them swinging the ball is a free score for the other team i think the thing to try and think about when i'm thinking about how the wizards could potentially improve is maybe just just looking at the youth looking at Rui Hachimura when he comes back looking at avijo when he comes back and when i look to that unfortunately i get roped right back into another negative which is oh yeah i forgot our coach doesn't even run these players consistently so they won't even get real good play time to be able to actually figure things out because they could play well get yanked play like trash get yanked play whatever get yanked so you know but this loss to the spurs was just somehow more frustrating despite the context just because of the fact that this game was winnable and even though we had been out for so long we were right there and then a 12 over run later we're not right there anymore and it just feels like, you know, I, I, you can't put it all on the coaching, but wow. You can't put it all on the players, but... Uh, <laughs> and with that being said, it's just, it's just it's, it's typical wizard stuff. It's so wizards, you know. It's not something out of the ordinary for this team to lose in such a fashion and to be making baffling decisions and this is just a wizard season you know this is how it is you, you get slapped up by the spurs even though playing against the spurs is cursed it's definitely cursed it's definitely cursed this is the first game i road trip we're playing against the rockets so that'll be a that'll be a oof, that'll be a thing that'll boom 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 that'll be fun you know Getting to play against Wall. I guess the team just needs major changes and potentially a rebuild, but I don't think we'll do it. Anyway, yeah, so I'm not sure if Wall is playing, but if he is, this is just going to hurt. Or we might somehow win. I I don't know. I just would love it if the Wizards, like, 
tried consistently. Like, at the very least, if they tried, it would hurt less when the Spurs go on a 12 0 run. Because maybe the Spurs wouldn't go on a 12 0 run if we did stuff like defend adequately. But we won't. Well, this guy says. I don't know any Wizards in Houston, but I do know that the Wizards, given the way that we played, will be blasting off again.